y'all i got a problem and i can't seem to stop it um so every year around this time i get so antsy <laughs> because i can legit smell spring in the air it's just like it's on the tip of our tongues it's so close right so here in zone 6a central ohio um our weather is like so bipolar around this time we'll get a lovely week of like what feels like spring but we all know to like side eye the hell out of it because it's gonna it's gonna go back to the other side and so this week that's what's going on right now but in the process mama is on a mission um the last two videos that i've shared with you guys have been like really really heavy on the aesthetic and like you know what i envisioned for my garden this year specifically as far as it goes with flowers flowers are not something that i'm always successful with but i try try again every single year so this year is no different however um yeah i'm trying a little bit harder this go around it's friday night having myself a glass of wine so if you are also indulging cheers sip sip drink drink so first things first i want to share with you guys some of the purchases that i made in the past 24 hours legit all right let's start here because i repurchased more strawberries because you guys seen some of my strawberry roots just did not do well i want to try a different method i want to soak these guys so i'm going to soak these overnight and replant them tomorrow so i have the white carolina and i have the ozark beauty which are the same ones that i picked up before i just went on ahead and got you know more of them this time i'm going to soak them that way i can see which ones look good so i'm not wasting soil you feel me so that's first things first so those will go in a bucket of water tonight but then i stopped at my local nursery this is one of my faves oakland nursery um they always have like all the good stuff if i'm being honest so I ended up picking up some flats of flowers. I'll show you guys that on another day. But I picked up some for our family business because I want to make things look pretty out there. But then also I picked up some for some pots. Um, and then in addition to that, they had some bulbs out. They didn't have just a whole lot, but they always have them for a really, really good price. So um, I picked up some can of bulbs here, which were... I just got three and if I can find a good picture of what they look like, I'll, I'll flash them on the screen so you guys can see. But they are a yellow canna. Um, I love cannas. Cannas have been what I have featured on my front porch planters for like the past several years. I typically always buy them pre-started, but the past couple years I have been buying bulbs. So I need to start these tonight in order for them to be ready um by early may is what i'm thinking when i'll actually plant those out and then they also had some potato seeds so i just grabbed one um because i showed you guys the other ones that i already have chitting and like you know doing their thing this is supposed to be a a rondock bloom i didn't do a test of like how blue these are because they're kind of like covered in mud but you can see it's pretty blue so I'm excited to try this guy out so I do plan because I see several eyes on here I do plan to cut this one up so that's something that I need to do tonight as well just so it can begin to scab over and that's all I got from my local nursery. I'm going to leave these out. And then I stopped in Walmart. So tonight I went and took myself on like a little Friday night date. Um, 
this is what I've been doing recently. I, I have been enjoying time with me and what is a good self care date without purchasing more garden stuff that I probably don't need. It's fine. Um, so I ended up stopping at Walmart because my Walmart's garden center tends to be neglected a lot of the times. And so I was like, I wanna see what's on sale. I wanna see like what uh, dahlia bulbs they have. And so I went on ahead because I already have cannas, but I had no dahlia bulbs at all. I tried to save some from the white ones that I grew last year. It was a complete flop. If you guys have suggestions on how to save bulbs for the next year, I will highly appreciate all of your suggestions. So, I ended up grabbing some daffodils because I, right now, I have no spring interest in my front landscape. And so I wanted to grab something. I didn't want to get the typical yellow daffodils. I thought these white ones would look really nice, especially with the contrast of the green, the more deeper greens in the early spring. I think that this will look really nice. And this one says that it will multiply over time. So they are perennial, which is great. And so because these technically will be blooming about now these were half off so it originally is $11.97 for 18 bulbs and I got them for six dollars so nice little deal I'll actually probably I'll probably end up going back because I didn't realize they were half off if I'm being honest um and then also I picked up the kelvin floodlight dahlias so these are only supposed to have two bulbs but something that you need to look at when you're buying um bulbs like this from like you know pre packed or like package stores big package stores you want to look for several bulbs so i have here one two three three bulbs in here for the price of 542. That is amazing, right? I didn't tell you guys what the price was on the cannas from my um local nursery. These guys were three dollars each. So technically I paid nine dollars for the three bulbs. They look really good, so I'm faithful that you know it'll be just fine. And then the potatoes were based on pound. I think I ended up paying like a, a buck for that potato which is totally fine um so that's everything that oh one more thing because this is interesting uh, I was talking to a client of mine and she was telling me about what she does for some of her house plants in the winter time because a lot of my house plants end up suffering if you guys want to see a house plant tour let me know I'll try to clean my house up and make everything look really aesthetically pleasing to show you guys if that's what something that you want to see you feel me? Um, she was telling me that she uses either grow lamps or just regular lamps with like a grow light bulb in it. And then I was in Aldi as I always am. I love Aldi, you guys. If you guys ever want to, that's another one. I'm gonna have to do an Aldi haul with you guys. I'm in my basement. Y'all know what that is. Anyways, um, so I ran across this, a dual head plant grow light and I thought that this was really interesting I, I hurried up I scurried over to Amazon to see what the pricing was in comparison and this was roughly about three dollars cheaper and so I picked it up it was sixteen dollars if I believe or if I'm guessing correctly so I picked up one of these in the photo it shows two there's only one per box so I'll show you guys what it looks like this is it it comes so you can clip it on just like a table if you wanted to or if you need need it to sit on a surface it comes with this base so I thought that was really cool and then again it has the two little things and then it has several modes on it you guys so it hold on let me see if it has detailed instructions here so it has the blue light for a seedling stage it has red light for vegetative growth and then blue and green for flowering and budding so if I'm using this for my house plant I'm assuming that I could probably 
keep it on the red light and it'll be fine but i was also thinking that this would be a really really good alternative for people that are growing or starting their seedlings in really limited space and they don't want to have like a full grow light setup kind of like what i have going on this would be perfect for something like that and again super affordable you can plug it in in addition to the different light settings you can also set it for different hour lengths so it comes with three hours nine hours or 12 hours and it also have set it also has several levels of what the lighting is if i had a plug handy right now i would show you guys but i really don't but i did want to share this with you guys all right several minutes later okay i grabbed a tray here because i want to pre-sprout i don't know if that's the word um but i want to sprout these daffodils in a tray first because i plan to transplant these into my landscape i don't plan to put them in containers or anything the rest of these bulbs are actually going to go in containers so the daffodils are the only ones that are going to go in a tray and then everything else i will pre-sprout the dahlias i typically pre or last year I won't say typically because I've only done it once before. Child, please. Who am I, a professional? Now. Um, the dahlias, I will pre-sprout before I put them into a pot to fully do their own thing. And the same with the cannas. So, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. But for the daffodils, I am just going to use my seed starting mix. Um, because... These will be transplanted out really, really fast. I do have a bit of, well, I do have a bit of worm castings in the, this mix as well. So I believe it will, it will get the nutrients that it needs. Oh, what, it's a little strawberry. Ugh. There we go. Um, but I believe it'll get the nutrients that it needs. I just don't want to utilize any of my soil. So, seed starting mix it is. So, I think the wisest thing to do is to put these in this little bit of soil here. And then put them right outside. That way they can sprout in their natural element. I believe that they will come right up even though right now we're like dealing with some funky weather we're dealing with some funky weather right now so i am a little concerned about how these are going to do but at the same time i'm feeling pretty confident about this mostly because i see all of my neighbors daffodils are up blooming doing amazing and so i feel like these will be fine so these actually, these are the white lion variety and they say that, I have the hiccups. That's what happens on your third glass of wine. But these say that they bloom in mid spring. <laughs> we will just have to see. All right, so because I am no expert on tubers and bulbs and all of those sort of things, I'm giving you guys a disclaimer now. I don't know what I'm doing. I had to do <laughs> my research right here, right now. Um, so 
last year what I did to test the Dahlia tubers that I had purchased. Um, these look rough. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Um, I don't see an eye. I don't see a, a not a nail, not a nothing. This thing is humongous. But like you can see that it is... Or can you see? It is severely cracked right there. I am going to stick it in this dirt anyways. And let the odds be in my favor. So all of these guys, I just need them to connect to the surface of some soil here so i just put it in like you know a little to-go container and i moisten i pre-moisten the soil i think i'll add just a little bit more in there i'm not going to completely cover these i'm just going to make sure that they are well sunken in getting good contact with the soil that way i can my odds would be you know, in my favor of something. Something's gonna happen here. I don't know what's gonna happen here. And my focus, I'm using my, I'm using my vlogging camera today. I'm not using my phone, which has auto zoom or not auto focus. Auto focus is the word. Um, but yeah, may the odds be in my favor because I really want, those beautiful yellow dahlias i think they will make such a nice touch in my garden and again these are the kelvin floodlights large bloom excellent cut flower i loved having the dahlias in my garden last year so i'm really hoping that i get some for this year i'm gonna take some of this soil and kind of sprinkle it on top sprinkle it on top here and yeah, it, it, it. we'll see what happens. All right, so now for the Hannah's. So I actually, I thought that I was just grabbing two. These two have like actual roots on them, as you can see. But this third one doesn't have just like a whole lot going on. Uh, my understanding is that with cannas, you don't have to bury them too deep. I keep looking at my screen. With cannas, you don't have to bury them too deep. So I went on ahead and I pre-filled these pots. And I am just going to wedge them down in there. And just take the soil and give it a nice pat, pat, pat for it to be nice and snug in there so that's what I will continue to do for the rest here and I believe that these will be totally fine I don't need to pre-sprout these cannas um at least I don't think so we'll see what happens child but I believe I should be good to just you know put them in these pots and I really need these to do the damn thing because I'll tell you what, last year when I started my can of bulbs, only one did well. So that's why I, like, I feel good that I have three. That way, in the case that one fails, I'll have a backup. So I feel really good about this. The dahlias, we will have to wait and see because like I said, child, these, these joints is, they kind of beat up. All right, so... Last thing that I need to do is get the strawberry soaked and cut my potatoes. And then we done for the night. All right, y'all. Okay, so I typically do not cut my potatoes when I'm starting them at home. You can see this guy is like itty bitty in comparison, which is why I'm like, you know, one of these guys is enough. So when I look at this, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eyes, possibly. I'm going to do a smooth three cuts. I want I want to cut this in three pieces, I should say. Oh, look how beautiful. This is going to be a nice potato. So there's a few eyes, one, two, three, one here. So 
I am going to leave them to dry out and do their thing here. Well, actually, no, this one I'll take upstairs because these ones are already beginning to chit. That is the word for those little sprouts there. Um, so these are actually ready to go in the ground as is. This guy will probably need a little bit of time because it's a fresh cut and it needs to develop you know, a little bit of a root system, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, anywho, so I see one, two, three eyes here. I can probably cut this there because I have one good eye here. But what I'm going to do instead, I want at least two eyes. So I'm going to cut this guy actually this way. And boom, I have three nice pieces here. I will probably set these up on my windowsill just so they can get a little bit of sunlight to develop those, those good like, you know, chitting bits here and to heal completely over. I know that I can dip these in like some ash or something like that to kind of help it along the way. But for now, I'm just going to rest them here like so like that. All right, final task. And I'm nervous. I don't know why. It was It's only $10 at stake. Anyways, um, my strawberries. I need to soak them. So I have this Tupperware here. I should probably get a second one, huh? I'm going to get a second one. But I'll just show you guys at least one pack. So this is the White Carolina here. I'm going to use this scissor. So I've decided that it really doesn't matter to me how these are separated. They're all going in the same bed for the most part. Um, and I'll probably put some in my uh, green stock as well. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I'm just going to put both of the varieties together. Um, maybe I'll put them like that on either side. We'll see how it ends up working out. But then we have the Ozark Beauty. These ones don't have as many sprouts as the last time, but I don't I don't even believe that that actually matters. Um, we'll just see what happens after we soak these roots for a little bit and you know, we'll see what happens. All right, you guys, so these guys are all in to soak overnight. I'm going to plant those up tomorrow. I have a lot more planting to do tomorrow. Tomorrow is tomato day, baby. So I will be right back on here in the morning to, or not the morning, but like sometime in the afternoon to share with you guys all of my tomato varieties. So definitely stay tuned for that. But this wraps up, I thought about, okay. So, I thought about doing a live really soon and maybe I will, maybe I don't, I won't, I don't know yet um, because I haven't really, I don't really know how to do that. So if you guys want to see a live from me, what is a good day that you guys can actually tune in? Because I wanna show up on a day that everybody can kinda see it live as opposed to having to watch the playback. So I would love to get your feedback down in the comment section below. If you guys wanna see me go live, I want to possibly, I don't know, depending on how this video goes tonight um, and into tomorrow morning, 
I would love to do or plant up, or maybe we'll do like an up potting situation. Yeah, what would you guys like to see? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to go live. I just don't know what a good time to go live would be because I don't be going live like that. And so I need y'all's, I need y'all's expert opinion. All right, you guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I thank you all so much for stopping by tonight. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Friday night hangout while I get a few things prepped and ready. Tomorrow, I'm so excited because, you know, tomatoes are always a crowd fave. It's my fave. Um, it's what we look forward to the most in the summertime, or at least I believe so anyways, between the peppers and the, and the tomatoes, child. Come on now. Um, but yeah, I thank you all so much again. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, 